Blessed Mother. So Diablo 4 releases tomorrow, and I'm scrambling, man. I am scrambling to get a video out on this subject because I am a small channel. I have barely any subscribers, barely any views, barely any anything. And Google Trends is telling me that Diablo is going to be big real soon, so I'm doing what I can. I had to scrap an entire other video idea that I had for this. <sighs> Today's been stressful. So please... Thank you. Servus. Hi. Hello. My name is Code King. And if you're anything like me, you, as a lee, wee little baby, you played Path of Exile, right? And then you got hooked. You got hooked into the ARG world. Not ARG. Hold up. And <laughs> there's two very different things. You got hooked into the ARPG. You got hooked into the ARPG world. And then you've been playing it nonstop and then going down this rabbit hole of very good games. Very bad game. And eventually, after all of that time playing all of those games, you will inevitably in And after all that time, after playing all those games, you will inevitably land on Diablo. Diablo was a mainstay game back in the day. It was it was basically what defined the genre and has been a staple throughout the years. But in recent history, their reputation in this market has been a little lackluster, right? It's been hmm. How, how should I put this? Not so much more. Get, if you get my meaning. So yes, Diablo Immortal. It was a thing. It was a very Don't bad thing. A lot of memes came out of it. I loved it. I loved laughing at every single one of those memes. It was incredibly funny. But that's not the point of this video, right? The reason I'm mentioning that game is because that game left a very bitter taste in a lot of gamers' mouths. Me included. I was genuinely hopeful. I did the whole pre-register thingy for Diablo Immortal, and then I waited for a long ass time. I waited. I was hopeful. I had faith in Blizzard. I knew a bunch of the older games that they released, and they were really good. And a lot of my friends were fans of Blizzard. And then Immortal came out, and everything just down the down the drain, down the drain, immediately down the drain. And even before that, there were like seeds of doubt planted because of certain updates and certain other games that were uh, that were released that I'm not going to get into in this video but there was a lot of drama that happened with Blizzard spe specifically Blizzard Activision that happened way back then and Diablo 4 was what gamers were originally expecting on that whole <laughs> immortal release Thing that they did with red shirt guy and all those other people right you you have have yeah, you got and after all that after all this whole debacle after all those bad games bad press reviews just drama 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 piled on top of drama and like a big massive pile of turds they were they were working on Diablo 4 for a long time they were working on Diablo 4 I believe they announced it Way back in 2020, I could be wrong on that. My facts are a little bit jumbled in my head. The point is that m many other many other gamers are very skeptical about the release of Diablo 4 just because of the bad press and everything that they got with the whole Immortal debacle, right? I, myself included. I am very skeptical about this game, have been since I heard about it, and you know... You go on YouTube because curiosity and because as aforementioned Google Trends, you go on there and you look at it and what I'm seeing actually from right now, from people that have the pre-order, it, it looks promising. I must admit, it does look promising. The gameplay looks smooth, the graphics look nice. I remember from one of the, uh, I believe Zizarin made a video on this where he was playing one of the uh, video game demos. He was talking about... Uh, Endgame, he was trying to get the developers to say something about the Endgame way back when, right? Uh, but they were talking about some sort of new engine. Uh, and the engine itself is great. While Diablo 3 already has fairly good graphics, I feel like there was a pretty big difference in especially how you interact with the world itself. Completely new separate engine that they're making for this game. I don't know if that's still a fact or not. But from what I can see, the graphics and everything plays nicely, plays beautifully, plays great, it looks great. The game looks fantastic. Further down the line, we have gameplay. Gameplay also looks nice, very fast, dynamic, smooth, crisp from what I can see. There are, uh, however, a couple of issues that I've been able to see. Again, Zizarin made a fantastic video on this. That's mostly 
what where I got all of my information from. And there's a couple of crashes, right? There's DCs, uh, there's just general uh, desktop crash, uh, there's just general crashes. There's quite a little bit of lag from what I've noticed from some of the clips. And people that have the pre-ordered game, they're already grinding the end game. They're already like way ahead of everybody else. Which, you know, in terms of fairness isn't really that fair, but whatever, I digress. So, yeah, I was skeptical, but I could just be wrong about this game. The gameplay graphics, as I mentioned before, they look, they all look great. They all look great. <clears throat> the DC problems, I'm sh I hope they will be fixed relatively soon. I have not seen much pay to win. I have not seen much pay to win stuff in this game from the videos that I've watched. I, I think this might actually be a good release and I'm, I'm choosing, okay. Here's my little pet peeve and here's my two biggest issues with this game so far, right? Big red flags that are standing out. I can handle disconnection issues, I can handle lag, I can handle all of that stuff, right? All that stuff can get patched out, right? But that patch is gonna be like 250,000 gigabytes, whatever. That's fine. What I can't handle is that there's already reviews of the game from like reviewers like IGN, GameStop, blah, 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 right? Game spot, not stop. Everybody's giving it like a 9 out of 10, 4 out of 5, bleh out of meh. What? From what I've seen from every other content creator, well not every other content creator, but most of content creators do tend to agree that the end game is lackluster, but it's a good skeleton to build off of, right? Now, sure, end game content isn't everything. There's also story and all the other stuff that I mentioned before. But Endgame is a big part of Diablo and other games like this, like Path of Exile, uh, Last Epoch. <laughs> Lord forbid I mentioned Wilson. I just did. Frick. But yeah, Endgame is a very big part of these games and if people are saying that it's lackluster, that does need to be fixed. Again, that can be patched out, but... Or I suppose patched in. You would patch content in rather than... You know what I mean. Right, that's that's a pretty glaring issue, at least in my eyes, right? And, and then there's the whole storyline aspect, which I cannot really talk about because I did not pay attention to that aspect at all, even though it's a big, big part of the game, like the whole Lilith thing returning uh, from the trailers and all the other stuff. I know that some people are really into the story. I personally myself am not. I haven't even played any of these games. And just by saying that, I'm going to get roasted by all of you, right? Please be gentle. And then my second issue with the game, if you're anything like me, right, you have a day job, you have, you want to eat next month, right, you want to pay for bills, right, I want to, I, I want to be able to eat next week or next month or whatever, right, I also want to be pay, uh, able to pay my electricity bill and all these other bills so that I can actually record and edit any of this piles of garbage that I'm making right here, right, the price tag, oh, what is, what is that? price tag. Am I the only one that thinks that even 60 bucks for a game is a little bit on the steep side? Like seriously? And I'm fully expecting there to be some paid items in this game. So on top of the $70 that they're getting per game sold, they're also going to have like probably microtransactions or some type of shit. I don't know if there's going to be like pay to win stuff. I'm not going to say anything about that. But from recent history, I maybe, maybe I digress. Those are my two biggest glaring issues, is the reviews. I think they're, they could be right, but I'm gonna choose myself personally. I'm going to choose to wait for the user reviews to pop out and I'm gonna go based off of that. I'm gonna wait and you should do the same. The only reason I don't have this game is because I got burned with Cyberpunk 2077 last time. That's the only game I ever pre-ordered and it will be the only game ever since. I did not pre-order this game. I did not beg for like the pre-release or whatever that other people are playing right now. I did not go for any of that stuff because like I said, the price tag is quite big in my opinion. Ten, $10 difference from a regular game. It is a big difference. It can be quite a significant difference when taken into account, right? Inevitably, I probably will end up buying the game in order to at least justify some of the things that I say or deny. I could be completely wrong about this, but that's my. those are my two biggest glaring issues with this game. I have a lot of hope. I have a lot of hope that they cleaned up their stuff from Immortal, that we can just push that to the side, under the rug, and then we can just move on. I don't trust these people at Blizzard, right? The higher ups, the 
execs. I don't trust these people. Push my hand. I trust these people, the developers. I trust these guys. Developers, they go through so much crunch time and so much development hell for these types of games and just so much bad stuff, stress, overworking, bad conditions. <laughs> bad conditions in Blizzard, huh? Dangerous topic code, stay away from that. I trust these guys. I really trust these guys and I have faith that they want to make a good game. That there's some people in the development circle of this game that are really passionate and want to make a good game. I trust those guys completely. But I also know that <laughs> this side of Blizzard, right, is kind of kind of kind of big if if you get if you catch my meaning. And many times these guys have to do what these guys say without any question. I just hope that developers will get the recognition they deserve this time because I believe that for Diablo Immortals I don't think any of them got death threats. I might be wrong on that. I will have to check. I'll probably edit some stuff in if I am wrong or not. But those were my opinions uh, on the whole Diablo 4 situation. I hope I didn't piss too many people off. Probably nobody will ever see this video. It'll probably get buried. But I'm hoping. I'm a small channel after all. I'm trying to grow. And I know that sounds very bad because I just said the workers and stuff. <laughs> I'm, I'm tired. <laughs> in any case, I have been Code King. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope I at least made it somewhat funny and enjoyable to watch. Please feel free to give me a like, comment, follow, share, all that stuff. And I hope we will have a fantastic day. Also, happy Monday. Don't let those Mondays get you down.